Hi there, welcome back to the Flask Mastery Series. I'm Gority Golden, and today marks the beginning of an exciting journey where we shall be diving into the world of Flask by building a robust Authors API from scratch. So, if you're passionate about web development using Python, you are in the right place. So, with this project, we shall be creating a Flask based API that will manage information about various authors. This could include details like the author's name, their biography, the list of books they have written, and the, the different companies that the authors are working with. So it's a fantastic opportunity for us to explore Flask, which is a powerful framework for Python. So these series are designed to help you understand Flask and its ecosystem step by step. Let's take a look at what we shall be covering in the upcoming videos. First of all, we shall work on the project setup where we shall be creating a virtual environment for isolation of our project dependencies and later on activating it. So within the project setup, we shall also be installing Flask and other required project dependencies. So having worked on the project setup, we shall later on focus on the project structure where we shall learn how to work with our application factory function due to the fact that we shall have multiple instances from third-party libraries like the Flask SQL Alchemy that will enable us to work with SQL through using uh, the object relational mappers. We shall also work with uh, other instances like the Flask JWT for creating tokens, uh, Bycrypt for hashing our passwords. So all in all, we shall understand the importance of the of a clean project structure and we shall be organizing codes in two models and packages not forgetting the separating of concerns where we shall be working with the model view controller pattern so for the database modeling we shall have an introduction to flask sql alchemy which will be acting as an object relational mapper for the database management and uh, on top of that, we shall be designing different models. For example, the user model with particular attributes like the first name, the last name, the image, their contact, biography if the user type is an author. We shall also go ahead and design the company model with attributes like the name, the origin, the description. Uh, same applies to the book model and we can see that for each model we are trying to customize the name of the table that will be stored in the database on top of that we shall also go ahead and define all the relationships that are going to be attached to each model in other words how each model is related to the other for example we can see that the user model is related with the books in a way that if the user type of course is an author an author can publish very many books and you have a, a back ref for the book in a way that each book that will be published will belong to a user later on we shall work with the flask migrate library that will enable us to migrate all our tables to the database as we can see and having we run the migrations we shall confirm that all the tables have been created within our database so having worked on database modeling and migrations we shall therefore go ahead and create different endpoints for particular resources by focusing on controllers and these will be different functions that will be performing particular tasks for example when we check out the authentication process where we are creating users of different types, for example, it can be an admin or an author, we can see that this is a function that is performing a particular task of creating a particular user depending on their type. So we can see that for the controllers, we are working with a request response cycle in a way that we are getting data from the request we perform the required validations and we check for we make particular queries in a way that the data that is coming in does not conflict with what we have in terms of the database because we know that 
the fact that we are working with a database, there are particular constraints that are attached on particular tables. So we shall see that having us build the user table in a way that all contacts and emails must be unique. In other words, we pass on the unique constraints to the email and the contact. We shall always ensure that this is catered for. For example, we make a query here, we filter by the email and ensure that any incoming email from the request is not an email that already exists on our database. And same applies to the phone number because all these constraints will be designed on our table. So if we go ahead and uh, try to test this out, for example, we can create a new user here. And for this case, for the purposes of testing the endpoints, we shall be working with Postman. So if I try to make some changes here, Uh, we can see that our user has been successfully created. So once a user has been created, regardless of their user type, we know that the user must log in. And for this case, the authentication part will work in a way that we are logging in the user with their email address, which must be unique, and their password. Not forgetting that all passwords will be hashed. And we are also working with a flask jwt extended so that it has the ability of creating particular tokens for a particular user identity so if i try to make a request you can see that once a user loads in that user will be given an access token so that the user has the ability of accessing other resources that will be protected as we shall see in the future so having us fully tested our endpoints, we shall later on go ahead and embark on the documenting of the API where we shall be working with Flask Swagger. So I hope you got some insights about the project and what you should expect in the upcoming video sessions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.